Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you groups. Now, groups in principle are a little different than some other applications because they allow for more than just organizing your content. Groups in principle allow you to do things like clipping masks. They allow you to actually have specific interactions, scroll windows and stuff like that. So let's get going on that right now. So we've gone over some topics, right? We've made rectangles, we've imported things, whatever. There's a lot of stuff here. But one thing we haven't covered really is grouping things together. In so many other applications like Sketch, we have one object. Let's say we have another object. And let's say we have some text. Let's throw some text in here, right? We could just say, hello world. OK, just like that. Beautiful. Let's bump up the font size of this a little bit. Increase this, okay, just so it's nice and visible. Maybe that was too much. Okay, beautiful. Hello world. So we have all this stuff here, right? And let's say we want to move or animate these together in a group. Now, one thing we can do is select all of our layers in the side of our layers property and do Command G. You can now see it's put everything into a folder. Now, what's cool about folders within principle is the folder itself has animatable properties as well as dimensions. If we open up this folder, you can see each of these individual items have their own dimensions, but the folder itself also has dimensions, which is interesting. It's something different, right? We could make this hit zone for this folder like this big, right? And then whatever, if you say tap on this, you'd have to tap right here, despite the objects being outside of the folder. Now where this comes in a lot of handy is this fancy clip sub layers button. It's a checkbox here, we select this. And all of a sudden, we have a uh, clipping going on. Now what's super cool is that we can animate this. So let's go ahead and, and do that here. Now let's go, I'm just going to go ahead and delete all of this stuff. Okay, so I just have an image here. This is a, a movie poster from a, a, a Chinese film, uh, Avenging Eagle, okay? So here we have this poster. I'm gonna put it here. You can see it's clipped off like this. Now let's say we wanted to give like a small preview of this. Let's go ahead and I'm going to put this into a group simply by selecting this layer and hitting Command G. Now I'm going to select Clip Sublayers and I'm going to drag this down and pull this up. You can imagine if we had several of these, right, of different maybe movies, you could have them in a line of different image previews. And then let's say we wanted to tap on this. So let's go ahead and first duplicate this artboard. I'm going to add a second one right here. And I'm going to click this and I'm going to drag tap and tap's going to take me here. Now in this layer, I'm simply going to select this folder and adjust the properties here to unclip it. And likewise, I'm going to say on this folder, hey, if you tap this, go back. Okay, just so we have that nice little tap back and forth. So as you can see here, even though we just have a, a single image in this group, we go ahead and have this here, we tap on it. It's now clipped, unclipped, clipped, unclipped. Super cool. And another interesting thing is if let's say we pull this down here, and now we tap on it, you can see it even animates its position up to where it was. So if we were to have several different of these films, you can imagine a list of these like clipped sort of uh, thumbnails or whatever where you select and you click on this and then it opens up the main page. So this is pretty sweet. You're going to notice this technique where you have a folder with clipped sub layers. You're going to notice this being used all the time. So just like that, we have this neat little animation that is clipped and it's unclipping essentially by animating up as the folder gets larger. And this to me is one of the most interesting features of principle is that the folder or the group itself has properties uh, that the 
items inside of it. If you have clipping set on, they have to essentially just act as like a, the whole thing is a mask. So you don't have to create a mask layer. The folder itself is the mask. Now, in addition, we can also give the folder with the folder selected, we can give this a border radius if we want. Let's go ahead and select this one right here and let's give this a giant border radius. I'm just gonna hold shift and now we have it a little bit curved. You'll notice this is also animatable. When it opens up, it curves and doesn't uncurve here. We can even do something like we have the group selected here and you'll notice when I pull this shut, it's just clipping it, okay? And let's go ahead and just make this a straight circle by typing in 150 by 150. Okay, so we now have this guy's head. We can actually scale this whole thing. I'm gonna grab it like this. Perfect. Now, this is maybe where the scale property will come in handy. For instance, you'll notice if I drag this, it's going to change the folder itself. I want this guy's head to be a little bit smaller here. Let's go ahead and set this to be something like 0.5. You can see he's now smaller and the whole thing is smaller. And when we click it in our inspector, it's awesome, right? So just that alone, we now have this really powerful animation where we're, let's say we have like a chat head or something that you've seen in other interface apps. Maybe it's like a Snapchat thing when you select it and it opens up full screen. I mean, this is just really, really super easy. You'll notice how long that took uh, just by having a clipping mask there. That couldn't be any cooler right there. Now the only bummer is having to tell your web developers that they have to make this particular interface and have it work that smoothly and nicely. Cool, so this is folders and groups within a principle. It's also important to note that in addition to doing Command G, there's also this group button here. If we click this, you can see it put our folder within a folder. So. If you have your layers, let's say click and drag selected, you can always click this group button up here. The command G thing is just a nice little shortcut. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you wanna have access to all of these principal files uh, along with all of these videos before they're released, you can purchase the series on store.leveluptutorials.com. There's a whole bunch of extra videos that are only available through purchase where I go through and build some really complex, some of my favorite principal examples that I've pulled off of uh, Facebook or other inspiration sites, and I go through and just show you exactly how they were made. So check it out. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. Head to store.leveluptutorials.com and help support the creation of these free tutorials. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.